Hello. Hello, everybody. What? <laughs> I'm here in my Airbnb in Italy. I'm in Pisa. Um, quite, quite a beautiful city. Um, there are lots of tourists, um, of course, for the attractions. But it's very quiet, very um, peaceful. Um, I am making... You ain't cooking, then get off the pot. I'm steaming some potatoes. Um, and then I'm going to also steam, whoops, sorry, some veggies here. Really what inspired me to um, film right now was I'm drinking my coffee. It is decaffeinated because it's 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Um, because Really, like, real quickly, you know, like I said in the previous video, looking out in your universe and your reality for signs from God, from the universe, you know, reality itself, life itself encouraging you, life itself telling you where to go. Um, you know, I looked down in my coffee and kind of in, like, the little bubbles, right, the little kind of cloudy formation at the top, I see a heart. And I've seen that a few times. And, you know, the bubbles make a heart. And, you know, what I said, I was like, love you too. You know, I love reality right back. And um, it's pretty sick, actually. It's all kind of sticking to this pan. It's not good. Anyway, um, oh my god, that's not good. That's burnt. Oh, wow. It's like a burnt chicken nugget. That's not good at all, actually. It's alright. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. And it's also not have a gas stove on. <laughs> Bone apple tea. They look great. Mm. <sighs> Sage, oregano, peppercorn, rosemary. I can't, I'm not sure what the other ones are. Good shit. I'll give a little bit of this. Do a little bit of this. Look at that, a little bit of this. Also, um, Broccoli stems, you can eat them. Did you know that? Did you know that? If you really steam them and kind of cut off the outer part, right? You know? Yeah, life is great. I'm here in Pisa. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Switzerland to a little city called Gis Giswo. Um, but then after Switzerland, I'm going to a town called Dijon. And then after that, I'm going to Paris. Um, I'm crouching like there's a roof, but yeah. Um, before I go to Dijon, I take a train to Zurich. Zurich. And I spend some time there. I spend about five hours there before my other train to, to Dijon. Which was kind of planned because I wanted to spend time in Zurich. And I think that's Zurich. 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 And I think that's a hot spot in Switzerland. So, yeah. Definitely wanted to do that. Peanuts, a little more oil for the peanuts. So, I'll open the door because it smells like something's burning, which it did. Oh, there's a fan as well. 
That'll do. I'm just gonna toss just a taint of water in here. So that it's smooth. Um, yeah. So, after that, Paris, I'm going to Bali. I'm going to Bali. That's going to be absolutely sick. I'm going to Bali for 12 days. I'm going to have a time of my life. Um, also, if you didn't know, I mean, if you want to take like an exotic trip, I mean, you don't have to say, but really for the flight. Um, the flights are kind of pricey. But their currency, the Rupa, the Rupa, Rupa, or something, the Indonesian currency is weak compared to the dollar. So everything is so cheap there. My Airbnb for 12 days was $200, like 230 215 Okay, and there's cheaper ones even. And, uh, but I also chose to do like a homestay, which is cheaper when you actually do Airbnbs when, you, when someone's in the house. Um, you know, and it just kind of opens you up a little more, um, you know, kind of pushes you back a little bit. Which is cool, you know, I used to be a little bit afraid of that. Like, I don't want to stay with somebody. And you know, it's, you know, it's nice. Um, you know, they're allowing you in your home. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, at all my Airbnbs, actually, in Switzerland. Well, Dijon, I have that place to myself. Um, but Paris and Bali. And Bali, it's like a homestead. Um, and it, this guy owns this house, but it's also a restaurant on top. So, breakfast is provided. And then, you know, um, he can also If you ain't cooking that arrange sightseeing tours and he also arranged for um someone could pick me up from the airport. So yeah, um but to go to Indonesia you need a visa, but you can also do that like a tourist visa, you can do that online and you can also do it when you get there. There's like a VOA visa on the right one counters and things at the airport so I wanted to do it online but through my booking app I didn't book directly through the airline so I booked through like a third party and so I didn't get the PDF file of my return flight and you need a return flight to get a visa. So um so yeah yeah and then we'll home and then I have like a day to rest and then I have to, maybe two days, and then I have to move out of my apartment. <laughs> but my mother's already starting to do that for me, which is great. And then, I was just going to chill out for a little bit, man. And then I'm moving to Los Angeles. Moving in with my homegirl. Um, so they got her on Instagram, check her out. Um, been applying for some jobs there. So see what that will pull through. So yeah. Um oh well, we already had a day here. Um I have the day we booked for three days, right? Um yesterday today and tomorrow but my like, train tomorrow is at 9 a.m. so I have to leave here. Be at the train station probably at um at 8 a.m. as I said. Um so I gotta leave here by like 7 30. So that means I gotta be up by like six. Gracefully the place had the host lovely lady. Thank you.
washer and the dryer. If they're, if they're coming to Europe, there really isn't there really aren't dryers very often. They hang dry everything, which is great. However, it's not so good to have dry. <laughs> um, so I'm doing laundry, and before the night falls, I mean, night has already fallen, but um, before it gets too late, I need to go out and get a magnet, a pizza magnet, and then I need to get some ice cream. <laughs> um, that's me getting a little sweet treat, is you know, treat myself kind of thing, ice cream and stuff like that. So, yeah, and then we'll do that. And do some laundry and drop. So, now that it's got the ice skater. Okay. The ice skater. That's good. So yeah, that's my update. Peace, love, light. Take care. See you later. which is close to kind of a main city called Lucerne. And then this is my morning view here. Absolutely fantastic. Um, really kindly, the Airbnb host has like this tourist booklet of things to do. And there's a few trails and there's this one guy named um, St. Nicholas Frude, who has, you know, a little, like there's a trail to get up to his little town where he worked with his wife. And there's like a church and stuff like that. So I want to go see that. Maybe do some trails and hit Lucerne probably tomorrow. Maybe I'll hang around here today because I actually have a job interview for um, LA at 7.30 tonight. So, you know, and they're accommodating to me, thankfully. I was like, hey, I'm out of the country. Can we do a Zoom call? <laughs> so, that's great. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have some footage. What you just saw of the journey here, which was really, really, really breathtaking. Um, it's actually pretty interesting because 
I can, you could say sense, whoops, the, the energy difference. Um, to be honest with you, I really wasn't a fan of Rome. Um, I mean, like, it was, it was cool. Like, the sights were super cool. But the energy was very um, crazed, you could say. Um, it was not, at least the area I was staying in, was not very clean. It's very, very dirty. And, and when you think about Chicago, you think dirty. Mm, Rome was dirty. They, I don't think I've seen this in Chicago. Maybe at different parts, but I don't know. I've never seen it. People let their dog shit on the street, and they, and the, and they let and they leave it there. There are multiple times where I had to walk around shit in the street, like on the sidewalk, trash everywhere. It's really, it's really not good. It's I would say it's dirtier than Chicago, where I was. Um, so I wasn't really a fan of that. Um, but it's like you know, it is what it is. I mean, at the same time, it was really cool. It was really cool and the area I went to for one of my um, massages my spas was still was dirty right but it was cool um, it was a cool area um, so so yeah Rome was cool but I would say it's not on my top three I would say favorite places I've been so far is probably um, I would say Montpellier is kind of its own entity because I, that's such a beautiful place for me. That was really where, of course, you know, that was the first stop I hit when I left my friends. And so that was really a uh, self-discovery, right? Where I'm like, man, I'm by myself and I'm vibing. And so that's kind of its own special place for me. Um, but I would say so far, like, uh, I really loved Pisa. Um, Pisa was really, really quaint and beautiful. Um, it was cleaner for sure and the energy was really um sweet um so i really like pisa um i love paris um barcelona was definitely cool but w what i feel it is for me is i felt more at home in france and in italy because quite literally those are where my ancestors are from so well France more so I'm not too I mean you know when I did the ancestral DNA thing there was just a little tip of Italy that was highlighted but that's very distant so I'm not even sure if it really counts but definitely France so I definitely like felt more peace and in, in, in the energy and at home Barcelona I felt a little distant it I felt a little alone um because it's not really a culture I'm familiar with. Um, so it was definitely cool. And I feel like it would have been cooler if I had somebody to share it with there. Um, you know, like maybe going to bars and, and stuff like that. So I felt a little distant. Like I felt a little, I felt a little alone there. So Barcelona was cool, but I think that one's, you know, not really up there either. So I would say, um, I mean, it was definitely cool, right? It was definitely cool. Like, the streets and architecture was really great. Um, but, and right now, if you're in Switzerland, right? I mean, literally, I'm elevated. Quite literally in elevation. But I feel here, it feels very, like, almost like I'm being... What I felt was, like, my heart being held and cared for in peace and almost like being examined like I feel like I just got lifted away from everything I was just at and I feel very at peace here um I just got the chills like thinking about you know you can't see it but at that one peak up there you see that you see that green right there there's a house up in there I'm sorry, a house in the Swiss Alps. Yeah, um, I feel like the energy is very kind and very peaceful here, as it would make sense, right? Um, so I very much enjoy it. Um, and I feel almost like I'm embarking on another spiritual lesson here. Um, so I'm very excited. And um, we will see where it takes me. So, 
thanks for listening to this update and i will take a little oh my god my balance sorry I think now is a prime time to report in. And that's my favorite part. Uh, over here, right over here, you see that little V? And you can see that mountain in the distance. I am at the place of um, Brother Klaus. Um, you can see, you can't see him anymore. Um, there's a statue over yonder. You can't see it. I'll show you. But, and it's pretty interesting. You can tell, you can tell that this peak fell. You know, like it's really cut right here, and I think it fell. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure whose land I'm on. <laughs> How many can say they've laid on a grass field in Switzerland? Shit, bro. <laughs> so I'm out here as your fellow American looking for snacks at 8 p.m. And you better bet your sweet ass that it's just gas. <laughs> that it's just a gas station. Ain't no snacks there. And the grocery stores close at 7. One of them was at seven, one was at eight. It's understandable. You know, but hey. I'm an American tourist. Expecting things to be as they are in America. However, I am in Switzerland, so that doesn't, uh, that won't apply. <laughs> oh, um... But, um, update interview went great. I will have to reach back out when I'm, when it's closer to the time, when I'm, what the hell, when I'm moving out there. So that would be great. Um, do you hear the birds, bro? Jesus, I can't get over the birds. It just makes me want to be outside. 
it's like I got things to cook at home. But are they snacks? No. And then the vending machine is like $4 for a small little thing. No. I don't want snacks that bad. I want to take note of a few things. First of all, I walked by this garage open. Well, it's not like a, a lift, like it was just like kind of a wood thing, right? With the cars in it. And then these people had their rowing gear, everything. Just out. That will not happen in America. That shit will get took up immediately. So it's really crazy to see that. And, you know, the values are different here. <laughs> um, you know? And then also, pregnancy test, condoms, in a vending machine. Jesus. I love it. This is great. Yes, I said I didn't want snacks that bad, but I kind of do. But it's so expensive. I might be here for a little bit thinking about it. <laughs> so it turns out that I did want snacks that bad. But hey. Why not? I think the mountain peak said do it. <laughs> Bridge down to where Brother Claus's other church was. It's also dedicated to a few others, I think. But yeah. So. Here we go.
I have five hours here for my next train. So I thought I would hang out here and check it out. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a little, uh, what's it called? A sidewalk dance with that guy. <laughs> he was like, Which way are you going? <laughs> and there he is, there he is, there he is. Um, yeah, so it's beautiful here. Um, I hope y'all are enjoying it so far. Oh my god, look at these flowers. different place <laughs> and you can see the reflection but you will see soon where I'm at um, hope you enjoyed the vlog um, take care thank you for watching thanks for hanging out with me on this journey and um, I have a link tree to all my links um, they're not named so you just have to randomly click and find out what it is I think you know like my socials and my music um, more music coming very soon still kind of strategizing on how to drop stuff and all that so but it's coming so um again thank you thank you thank you thank you and goodbye more things coming soon